Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a vertical load P is applied at end B of rod BC. A. Neglecting the weight of the rod, express the angle theta corresponding to the equilibrium position in terms of P, L and the counterweight W. B. Determine the value of theta corresponding to, corresponding to equilibrium if P equal to 2 into W. In this problem given is a weightless bar BC is hinged at C and at B there is a force P is applied vertically downwards. So the length of the bar BC is L. Angle between vertical and bar is theta. At the end of the bar B there is a string and counterweight is attached like shown here. So the distance between points C and points C and A is L. So in this problem we need to derive an expression in terms of P, L and W and theta. So for the bar to be in equilibrium that is the first portion of the problem. In the second portion of the problem if P equal to 2 times W then what is the uh, theta value for equilibrium. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Since a counterweight W is attached here so the tension in this side of the string AB will also be equal to the weight W. So T equal to W. So on this bar BC there is a load P is acting vertically downwards here and there is a tension in the string that is acting towards this direction. So T equal to W. Now let us draw a line perpendicular to this line AB from C. So then uh, since this angle is total angle is theta then this angle half angle will become theta by 2. So the distance uh, of this the length of this uh, perpendicular line will be L cos theta by 2. Now let us take moments about C. The reactions at point C won't create any moments about C. So they are not marked here. Now only forces P and T will create moments about C. Now let us take moment due to P about C. So P into this distance from C to B the horizontal distance. Since this angle is theta then the angle here will be 90 minus theta. Then this length is L. So distance from C to B the horizontal distance will become L cos 90 minus theta that is L sin theta. So that is written here. So moment due to P about C will be P L sin theta that will be clockwise direction. Now the moment due to T about C that will be in the counterclockwise direction. So that can be written as T the tension here into this perpendicular distance that is L cos theta by 2. So that is written here T into L into cos theta by 2 that will be counterclockwise direction. So after Simplifi after simplification we get this equation uh, W equal to 2P sin theta by 2. So from this we can write theta equal to 2 into sin inverse W by 2P. So this is the equation in terms of theta W uh, and P for the bar to be in equilibrium. Now let us see second portion of the problem that is if P equal to 2 times W. Let us substitute P equal to 2 into W in this equation. So we get uh, after simplification theta equal to 29 degrees. If P is 2 times W then the angle theta will be 29 degrees for the bar to be in equilibrium. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.